we, we said it earlier in the in the show there that, that Morrow's got his chance. He, he came in that last season and and, and did quite well. Uh, probably earned, definitely earned his, his contract. Um, he's let players go. He's brought players in. So it's kind of you're getting a, a feel now that it's, it's, it's Steve Morrison's side. He's bringing his players in. Um, he's changed the, changed a bit of staff members. We had coming in and and Stacky coming in. So it, it's all it's going all for him at the moment. And based on what I've seen so far. It's a young, ball-playing team who want to work hard for the shirt, uh, work hard for their manager and the fans. Um, so let's hope it just continues uh, and we see the same sort of performance as we did uh, Saturday against Birmingham. Hopefully so. Both teams are out. It's a good, healthy crowd here at the Hawthorns and it's a packed out away end to cheer on a Cardiff City side that shows three changes from the weekend fixture against Peterborough. Steve Morrison choosing to freshen up the side income jack simpson for his debut that one's enforced cedric kipre can't play against his parent club joe rawls comes into midfield to replace romaine sawyers who's on the bench and shay ojo comes in for callum o'dowda didn't he work so hard in the heat on saturday on connor townsend west brom worked the ball from left to right that's a nice ball for furlong who's a very good attacking fullback He's beyond Collins, chance to cross from the byline. Looks to bring it back. Collins is still down. Wallace's cross. Oh, there was a mixture of Simpson and Allsop there. Or NG and Allsop managed to get the ball away. But Collins here, Roger looks in some distress. He does. Doesn't look promising at all. He, he straight away um, just got caught uh, there. And, and, and the lad's sort of got a good touch, to be fair. And then just got around the other side of him. And I think he made a lunge with one leg and caught his knee in the ground. Um, hard to see from the replay because you just sort of missed it. But yeah, this might be a better replay here. Oh no, he didn't even catch his knee. I think, yeah, that doesn't look good at all. Um, let's hope, touch wood, it's not, it's not really serious, but at the moment it, it looks it. Yeah, you wonder whether he got his studs caught in the turf. He didn't, whether he sort of hyperextended that knee, but this doesn't look good. Cardiff up against a little bit of adversity. The ball goes out, almost on halfway. That will give Cardiff the chance to make the substitution. Jamalou Collins, obviously, is the man replaced. Callum O'Dowda coming on to play at left-back. He's done it before. Happy to concede possession to Cardiff City. Also drills the ball towards O'Dowda, who, of course, is on the pitch now and can provide a little extra height, but he loses that header, and now he's out of position, and Wallace has room to go into. Cuts the ball back, Livermore, shot on goal. Good save from Also put behind by NG and O'Dowda there maybe just caught a little too advanced Roger when he lost that header. Yeah, do you know what? We've mentioned it in the programme already that there's playing and there's overplaying. I think Allsop doesn't need to spray that there to, 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 on the Diag. It's a tough ball for him to win. And then in the box there, they have six men. So then you've got to be really careful. You give possession away like that and you get opposition in the box. There's a man to a good chance. The cross by Dean Garner to the far post, well headed away by NG, who started the game well, but West Brom crowd starting to get into it. They're starting to find their stride. I'm glad I never played in that era <laughs> of, the, of, the, of the short goal kick. I mean, uh, it's not for me. because You're just creating your own pressure. Sides are clever. They, they, they'll, they'll pretend they're not interested and they'll, they'll pretend that they, they, they'll turn their back on it and wait for you to play that one pass and then they all press. They work on it. Nice step over, and he's beaten Simpson. He kind of clips it to the far post, and Romeo just did enough, I think. Sandwich between two men, made it hard, made the West Brom player, who was Townsend, have to get above him. And it's another half chance for West Brom. And Roger, to your point, it's a half chance that's come from Cardiff City, maybe inviting pressure on themselves. Exactly that, and, that, and that's what sides do. You see it all over the country every week. That they, they pretend, like I said, they're not interested. They'll turn their back and they'll wait for the press. And they, there'll be a trigger and they'll all, they'll all go. Uh, NG and uh, NG, Simpson sorry, yeah, as well. Just, yeah. Wait, just to try to put his name there, NG. Put some good headers away and they, they've got to be on their money at the moment. There you go, finally. They've listened to you, Roger. Ryan Allsop goes long, although Ojo is beaten in the air. And West Brom reclaimed the ball. It was all kind of city possession in the first five minutes. They haven't had a sniff of the ball in the last five and that will be a foul. Winkle to coming together. I don't think the referee's going to look at. It's a harsh one. I don't. You, you can't really move out the way of it. Um, they're always giving them fouls, but it's, 
it's just Carl and Grant's run into him. Where do you expect him to go? Pressure is mounting. Ball goes short. It's a clip central ball. It's headed back across goal. Well, that's a training ground routine, and it almost unpicked Cardiff City once more. Perry and G had to be alert and alive to turn it behind for a corner. Well, I think he's offside there. I think the line has made a bad decision. He might not get the angle of it. I just, just think he edged himself off, but look, they dealt with it. Um, and then G, he's been on it so far. His, his, his headers, his clearances. Corner kick towards the near post. Well up by Ojo. Second ball will come to Livermore. He'll try the shot. It hits Simpson, who back heels it to Ojo. Now can Cardiff break. Ojo's away. That will be a booking, surely, in the modern game. Dar O'Shea took one for the team there. The yellow card is Brandish, and Cardiff will have a free kick on halfway and a little bit of release. I wasn't enjoying the weather, although I did enjoy Cardiff City's performance. Cardiff uh, are in this game, it's just been a little messy the last 10 minutes or so, but they've won the ball there, Runamoto to Winkle, who can come forward, it's a nice release ball to Romeo, Romeo early cross, Watlers, well maybe that run needed to go across the near post, there was a little static in that box, but a good break for Cardiff. Yeah, much better, we've seen it all, all West Brom at the moment, um, so yeah, that last sort of minute or so, Got in their half, uh, won a corner out of it, but yeah, just needed to get more bodies in the box there. Okay delivery, made the defender sort of make a, a slash clearance, which is, got, they've got a corner out of it, but I'm sure Morrison will want uh, more, more bodies in the box and then what, once the ball's in that wide area. Good kick to Cardiff City, an out swinger. Oh, Simpson was up and then NG was up at the far post, trying to head it back across goal. No one was there on the far post, the clearance comes out as far as Romeo and Cardiff can build again, although NG will go back to Allsop. Ryan Allsop has had to make one good save, and there's been a couple of other half chances. So certainly in this game, and Philogene picks up a loose ball. Is that going to be a foul? No, referee allows play to continue, and Philogene can't get onto his own knock forward, and now there's a gap to come through the middle of the park. And Garner tries to thread it to Carl and Grant. Allsop does well, though, in the sweeper-keeper role to come out, and he needed to as well, because that ball had split NG and Simpson. Yeah, but good starting position there from Allsop, needed it. Uh, surprise, Kyle and Grant pulled out of that tackle, really. Um, so that was a freebie to smash the keeper, and it was a 50-50 tackle. First league start tonight for the club captain. So important for the Bluebirds, but you do feel he's playing a little bit of catch-up at the moment, as... And Motor takes the ball on his chest, back to O'Dowder inside the box, now outside, but goes to the byline. Good cross in, Waters tries to create some separation, Romeo couldn't quite keep it down. Decent attempt over the bar, but Cardiff City's best side of the ball so far. There it was, I'm, I'm not sure if the ref would have given a foul there, I think he was just sort of telling the West Brom players there, watching him after the, the, the ball had gone over, that he, he would have given the foul, because uh, I think Max Watters just... just Nudged the defender there, which which made him scuff his header clearance. Um, but yeah, positive, all from a throw-in. Yeah, I think all sort, and rightly so. He wants that ball punched back to him at pace, so he can just kind of take his first touch in front of him, rather than waiting for the ball getting closed down, and he has to force his pass, and it goes out for a throw. But yeah, he's spot on there. I don't normally agree with goalies, but yeah, that ball needs to be fizzed back. Whittle goes to ground. Referee plays advantage. West Brom have the ball, Grant makes some room for himself, shoots a goal, oh, the initial play was Kirk, the finish was wayward, left foot strike, curling away from goal, but he opened up some space for himself there and should have done better, I think. Yeah, I think it, rather than the power, I think he should have wrapped his foot around it there, but yeah, he's got himself into a, a shooting position and that's, that's what you want from your forwards. Also clears long, Cardiff having a break from playing out and inviting that press on. Brennan Motor gets to it, he can, is he fouled? Referee will play advantage, Waters has it, and Cardiff have numbers, Waters drives at his man, can he get a shot away? He does, it's blocked, will that be handball on the Cardiff City man? Referee says no, comes to Philogene on the right-hand side of the area, drives to the touchline, can he get the ball in, it's a low ball, it's cut out, is it out for a corner? It is, and uh, I, I kind of like that from Waters, uh, Roger, he, he did have the player out wide, but he said no, I'm a striker, I'm a goal scorer, I want to have a strike at goal. Yeah, exactly that. Just seen at the other end with with, uh, with Colin Grant, he probably had a pass on, but no, he's a striker, he wants to get goals, and that's why they're in the team. 
Four and a half minutes remaining of the 45. Out swinging corner. NG is up. He's beaten two of the balls. Still around the six yard box. Now head of click and Philogene, but he goes between two men and has made some room. Can he get his head up? Lays it back to Romeo. Uh, Romeo, Romeo tries to curl it. Sorry, that was Ojo, not Romeo. Ojo couldn't, similar to Carl and Crown a few moments ago, get the bend on it. He opened up his body. Best sighted goal so far for the Bluebirds. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, kept, kept the ball alive. Good pass to the edge of the box there. He's got his shot off. Yeah, it was good pressing. I think there's that man again, Jake Livermore, going and, going and putting his body on the line. Try to pick up second ball here. They can from O'Dowd, who's done well since coming on at left back. Rules growing into the game. Ojo, Winkle forward to Waters. Was he onside? He was onside. Tries to link with Romeo, but didn't see the man coming from Romeo's blind side. NG cuts out the slide rule ball. Now Cardiff can go the other way. Rawls thinks about hitting the channel. Roger Johnson says the ball was on. Rawls dallied on it, and now West Brom come the other way. Wallace faces up. Simpson shot at goal. It was a decent save from all subs. I think that shot cut him by surprise. First of all, Roger, that ball was on. Rawls didn't play it. And then a decent save from all subs. As we approach the last 30 seconds of the 45, really is nip and tuck here at the Hawthorns. A good game, a good nil-nil. Chances on both sides. Cardiff very much in this. Here comes Romeo, who loves to bomb forward on that right-hand side. Finds Philogene, Romeo continues his run. Philogene can't find the pass, but we'll get the ball back from the ricochet. So Whittle, Whittle will shoot a goal. Low shot, always going wide. Button was worried, tried to catch that far post, but uh, it remains nil-nil. But Cardiff on, on both sides. Roger, that, uh, uh, you know, when they go down with Ojo and O'Dowda and Romeo and Philogene, they look dangerous in those wide areas. Yeah, they do. I mean, it's been a lively game, both sides, end-to-end. -end. There's not a lot in it, it's probably 50-50. Looking to encourage their team, looking to suck that ball into the net. Cardiff City will hope otherwise. It's a clip corner towards the six-yard box, header on goal. It's going to go wide for a goal kick, I believe, or referee gave a foul. Either way, it was good positional defending by the Bluebirds on the far post. And Roger, they can start again and, and start to grow into this second half. Yeah, Steve Bruce has got into them a little bit. Um, they're, they're the home side. We're pleased that the Bluebirds play got away with one then, but certainly if uh, you'd applied the same level that we've had for the rest of the game, Marlon Romeo should have seen yellow. He hasn't, and Bluebirds will defend the free kick and actually pick up the second ball, and Waters is on in the channel. Ro Rinomoto decides to spray him that time and finds Waters. Waters close to the touchline on this right-hand side. Back to Ojo, Rinomoto, who's really effective at the start of the second half. Ojo goes across the box, so curl it in button in control of the situation but wasn't far away and all the good things kind of are doing at the moment a lot of it's happening through Andy Rinomoto who's just full of life in the middle of the park yeah yeah he's, he's, he's on it at the moment Rinomoto it was nice to see a ball play forward guess who got in the end of it Max Waters here comes O'Shea chased by Waters who again is working incredibly hard but there's a big puff of breath from Waters I sense his night is almost done West Brom don't want to be done with this attack as they approach down the left-hand side. The ball will go back to Townsend. Will he cross from a deep position? No, he uses the line again, and John Swift. Back to Dean Garner to Swift. That's good interchange. Nice shot on goal. Also, you think was always in control, but that was a lovely interchange from West Brom, and Swift certainly has the talent to put that in the top corner. Yeah, good movement, good, good, good patience. Uh, but yeah, I mean, he, he's not at the target there. There's good link-up play. Uh, got found himself in the box and just just overhit it into that far corner. This game is there to be won, but you feel now that we're approaching that time where it's probably going to be a single goal that does win this game. Both sides have played some good football, but neither side looks like they have an abundance of goals in them. West Brom have to change that. Crossing from the left-hand side, headed away from NG. By NG, shot on goal. There's a block, an important block by Simpson. My fact, came off the West Brom man. I think that was Goldbab as well. We sat, sat right behind it here, and that may have just snuck in on the, on the far post. But yes, yeah, his own man, and uh, got out for a goal kick. 70 minutes on the clock, a corner from the right hand side. To be taken by Matt Phillips, recently arrived on the pitch. Phillips 
puts it towards the far post. There is a man up, header on goal, easy save from Olsop, but West Brom worked that well, got a free runner around the back post. Cardiff again, Roger, we talked about it in the pre-game show. Don't give away set pieces. Easier said than done. Uh, 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 no doubt of overlap there. Um, and probably, yes, will be disappointed if he sprinted after pitch and then give it away and he's got to sprint back. Oh, we'll throw into the box with the Bluebirds home firm. Simpson gets something on it, but only nods it back into the area, across the area. Chance for a shot at goal. Oh, it's a good block. It needs to be a block from Perry NG as that was going on goal. Cardiff can now bring their line up as the ball goes back into the centre circle, but still West Brom position, but a possession. Odada challenges his man well. Simpson should get there to sweep up. Can't, it's a bit of a tired clearance. We'll need to go in again and doesn't get to the ball. West Brom in the right wide position, close to the corner flag. Simpson faces up his man. Cardiff pulling all their men back. West Brom go backwards to come forwards, looking to move the game from right to left. Clip ball. Romeo doesn't have a man in front of him, doesn't know whether to go or stay, decides to stay, and Rinomoto comes to cover the space, but that gave West Brom a little bit of time to work the ball. Four minutes of added time, cross into the box. Dangerous cross on this occasion, headed down. Good save from Olsop, and it goes behind for a corner. Best chance of the match, and Olsop had to make a good fingertip save. Yeah, good save. Good save, good play, good patient, uh, patient build up there from West Brom. Not enough power in the header. Yeah, save you'd expect him to make, but he's, he's made it. They, they've actually changed the corner taker here. Kind of a poor corner, but West Brom will get a second go to put that in as it goes back to the right hand side. Deeper crossing position, but good ball! Cardiff looking to defend the far post, and they do it just about. Colwell puts his foot through it, and it's out for a throw in, and I think. Uh, one of the Bluebirds players, dare I say it, in a, in a savvy manner. I'm sure there is a knock in there, but maybe just calming things down by staying on the floor. Yeah, I agree, take this thing out of it. Cardiff certainly deserve a, a clean sheet and a point out of this game. 20 seconds remaining of the added time. It's now or never for either side. Hopefully it's never, but it's a ball into the box for the J to attack. Cardiff gets something on it, two bites of the cherry, but they've only cleared it to the edge of the box. Oh, cross come shot, all stop. Well, good hands from the goalkeeper. Wasted opportunity in the end, and Allsop has been solid all night. And thinks about the quick release, but I think it would be better to take time off the clock. He's taken all the time off the clock. Cardiff get their point, they get their clean sheet, a nil-nil draw here at the Hawthorns. But Roger, whilst a nil-nil game, it's one at least from my position in the gantry, I thought was a, a thoroughly entertaining encounter. Yeah, like we, we've said it all throughout the game, it's been lively, it's been cutting edge in respect of the, the, the intensity of it. Um, really good quality of passing from both sides. Um, the work rate was there, we just lacked chances. Um, it wasn't before in nil-nil, it was certainly okay and lively to watch, but both sides have been disappointed. Um, it, it, lack of chances. Um, coming away on the road and getting a nil-nil draw is against a side that are probably tipped to be up there come the end of the season. Um, it's not it's not a bad result. They look back on this and think, yeah, do you know what? That's, that was a great point away. Could, they could have won it. Mm, not for me. I think a draw is probably a fair result. Um, but yeah, like we said, it was a lively one to watch. Uh, good quality on the passing, but not, not enough in front of the goal.